Oh, that was there were some times where I got out on my knees, called myself, trying to pray the best I knew how, and it, it was no more than a whisper. But can I tell you that he's so close that he hears the faintest cry. That's why grandmama said, I, I, I came to Jesus. Just as I was. I was weary, I was wounded and sad, but I found in him resting place. Rest in place. Let me press my claim. He has made me glad. They, they, they are a uh, 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 hundred yards, three hundred feet, a hundred paces away with just a little bit more than a whisper to hollow with. But let me pull over on the side of the road to tell you that it wasn't the fact that they were hollering. It was what they were hollering that got Jesus' attention. Come back to the text. They said, Jesus... Master, uh -huh. have mercy on us. Uh -huh. now, 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 Fred, I need to ask you, I, I need to tell you, I, I'm not surprised by the fact that they called him Jesus because uh -huh. Jesus was his first name. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm not surprised. Everybody knew about Jesus, but my problem deep with the text is that they didn't just call him Jesus, they master. called him Master. master. Now, 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 now y'all got to excuse me right here because uh, I got a problem. How did these ten Jewish folks that, that's supposed to be, amen, Christians that only worship Yahweh Yeshua, that only worship Elohim Jehovah Adonai, how in the world did they know to call him Epistus? How did they know to call him Master? Uh, well, 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 can I tell you, I started looking in the Greek and I found that there was at least 18 different versions of master, master builder, master, master carpenter, master. master teacher, master chef. There were so many different masters, but they used, amen, Fred, a good word, and I really like this word. It meant that he had the power to meet their needs. Uh -huh. Y'all missed a good place to shout. I said that he called him master, which means that he had power to meet their needs. Yeah. And when you call him master, it don't matter what I need. You got the power to meet my needs. Huh. Well, let me move on. I, I don't preach long enough. Y'all about tired of me. Not yet, doctor. Let him use it says <laughs> that they recognize the presence of a miracle worker. Hmm. It, it says that, that they requested the participation of the master. But, but, but the last thing it says is they responded. Hold on, let me, let, let me put that on pause. Go back to, to, the, to that second point. There's something I almost forgot to tell you. Uh -huh. They said, Jesus, I did it on purpose. Master, have mercy. Mercy. Now, there's a pre there's there's a suffix on that word that we use in our English language today. That 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 suffix is spelled R H E A. Come in. R R H E A. Y'all y'all know what that come at the end of. Diary. It, it it means the inability to control yourself. They, they, they said, Jesus, have mercy. That Greek word has the suffix R-H-E-A. It, it really means I want you to be moved with so much compassion that you just can't control yourself. Y'all won't help me preach. I said that I want you to have so much compassion, have so much mercy on me that I, I, I know I'm going through a hard time, but I want you to have so much compassion on me that you can't control yourself. And can I tell you, the text said that Jesus did just what they asked. Recognize the presence of a miracle worker. Request the participation of the master, but the final thing is, you respond to the to the prescription, the prescription of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Messiah means anointed one. Respond to the prescription of the Messiah. Listen at what the text says. It says, and as he entered a certain village, right. ten leprous men stood afar off, met him. And raised their voices, crying, said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Mm -hmm. Now look at verse 14. It says, and when he 
saw them. Hmm. He said unto them, go, show yourselves hmm. well. unto the priests. And as they were going, they were cleansed. Listen, listen. Now, remember, the text never says that he heard it. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Hold up, pause, hit the brakes, pause, hit the brakes. These men, as sick as they are, then somehow or another got themselves up off the ground. They they were down on the ground. They done picked themselves up. They have laryngitis to a degree, and they're hollering, and you don't even hear it. Hold up, Jesus. Hold, hold, hold on. You, um, they, they told me if I made one step, you made two. And here I am doing the best I can to inch me a step, and you don't even hear me? Well, let me tell you. Remember I told you they were a man 100 yards, 300 paces, a man, 100 yards, 300 feet, 100 paces away. Now, if they were hollering at a whisper, he couldn't hear them anyway. Uh -uh. But you know what, Mama? I just believe they were doing the Marvin Gaye. Right. Marvin Gaye said, make me want to holler. Y'all want to help me. <laughs> if Grandmama was here, she'd be sitting right there on that second row. And Grandmama, he can get to praying real good. Grandmama would say, if I couldn't say a word. I just wait, y'all won't help me preach. Those, amen, those lepers decided, well, since I can't too much pray, I might as well pray. Because prayer and praise go together. Worship and wailing go together. And so they said, well, let me go ahead and give them the glory in advance. Because if I wait till you do it, it's a relayed reaction. But if I go ahead and give it to him now, he'll get in a hurry and do just what I want. Hey! Hey! And I think I need to pull over before I get to where I'm going to tell somebody that you might not want to wait till the battle is over, but you might want to go ahead and shout now. You might not want to wait till you pay your bills. You yeah. might want to go ahead and shout now. Because if you go ahead and praise them right now, everything. Lord, thank you, Lord. Y'all sit down. I'm just trying to talk to you. Listen, listen. It says he saw them, and he tells them something crazy. Hmm. Says, go show yourselves to the priests. Can I tell it to you in our language? He said, act like you would. If you already had what you were asking for. Because you did not go to the priest. Until you were already healed. Let me say that one again. You didn't go to the priest. According to Leviticus. If you were still sick. The only time you went to the priest. Was after you was healed. So he said. I, I know you're sick. I know you're hurting. I know you're in pain. But I want you to act like you would. If I already did. What you were asking me to do. And I think I need to tell you. That you ought to go ahead. And act like you would. If he paid them bills. You ought to act like you would. If he fixed that marriage. You ought to act like you would. If he healed your body. Go on and act like you would. Come on. Yeah. And the test the class. I quit, I quit, I quit. Test the class. Go ahead, boy. Test the class. A man in my Holy Ghost imagination. It said they went. But in my mind, I, I see them ten lepers standing there side 